every year they extend their occupation when you look at the map of palestine there is nothing left of land in palestine the people of palestine have got nothing to lose but their chains they must stand up and fight for their freedom and condemning hamas is an act of cowardice I heard some fools saying we can't compare Hamas with Mandela and them. They are the same. This president of Areta carried guns. He was shooting to kill, to liberate you. He was doing exactly what Hamas is doing. O.R. Tambo did the same thing. Chris Hani did the same thing. Winnie Mandela did the same thing. Steve Pico did the same thing. There is nothing wrong Hamas is doing. But where did this ANC and MK get money to have guns, to have ammunition, to have food? The international progressive world gave them guns, gave them food, gave them their camps, gave Cuba, gave them doctors. They were called terrorists, like Hamas is called terrorists. But people did not see terrorists in them, they saw liberators. The EFF, when it takes over next year, is going to arm Hamas and make sure Hamas has got the necessary equipment to fight for their freedom. Netanyahu is the number one terrorist. And he must be declared everywhere he goes. He must never know peace because he's a number one world terrorist and the world must fight against terrorists. A murderer, a person who's committing genocide in Palestine in the name of attacking Hamas, yet is attacking innocent women and children. He says to them, I'm giving you 24 hours to leave Gaza or else I'm coming in. As the people are walking out of Gaza, scared of Israel, he's shooting those innocent people. Yet he's the one who said leave. When they are leaving, he's killing them. It can't be that the people of South Africa who are beneficiaries of international solidarity sit back and allow this nonsense to go on we don't want apartheid israel and uh, when we say we don't want apartheid israel it must never be confused with the fact that we are saying we don't want the jews it's not true there are a lot of white people in south africa when we're fighting a white apartheid regime one of them is here he joined the struggle against white apartheid in south africa yet he was white because he never saw that struggle as a struggle against white people he saw it as a struggle to liberate the oppressed masses of our people so where are the progressive jews to stand up and say we do not associate ourselves with netanyahu no one must go around saying we are fighting with Jews, not in our name. We are not fighting with Jews, we are fighting with an apartheid Israel and it shall fall. It's just a matter of time before the illegitimate government of Israel falls.